Hey you guys, welcome back to the vlog. The first video in the new house, which honestly feels so weird. Like I haven't filmed in the house yet and this is the first video. So this is our house. If you haven't um, seen the empty house tour, I posted that last week. And we've got a few pieces of furniture in, but it's a little echoey in here, so I'm sorry if it's bad. This is our like makeshift dining table for now. It's just like a white foldable table. I wanted to just sit down and catch up with you guys, do a little post-wedding chat Q&A, answer all the questions that you guys asked over on Instagram. And I wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of the love on all of the wedding content. It's just like overwhelmingly you guys are so sweet and just so kind and i feel like y'all are like my family also so i wanted to make sure that i shared the wedding with you guys i saved all of the wedding content um to a highlight over on my instagram so if you want to go watch that if you haven't seen it i hired a girl to film basically the entire wedding in real time so you guys could feel like you were there because i was like i can't share the entire planning process and then not share the actual day with you guys so it's gonna be there forever on a highlight on my page so you guys can always look back on it and i have like a wedding planning highlight i've tried to save everything that i thought would be helpful to anyone planning a wedding and then um if you have any questions you can always message me or just comment down below and i'll get back with you i first wanted to talk about just like my favorite parts of the wedding and honestly it was so worth it to spend so much time planning that day because i feel like we planned it out so much that the day of i was really able to relax and enjoy it we were staying at the thompson hotel in dallas that's where we had the wedding at i was staying in the bridal suite and lauren stayed with me that night so we woke up i got like matching pajamas for me and my sisters and we all got ready together i think lauren and i woke up at like 7 a.m and we actually went down to the hotel for breakfast at 8. i got there at 9 to start on our makeup so we did makeup and hair a lot of people asked for like the timeline of the day so i'll get into that a little bit but basically we needed to be ready by two o'clock so i just wanted everyone in my family to be ready by 2 30 because two o'clock i started like first look with muhammad well first i did a first look with my sisters and muhammad's sisters and then i did a first look with my dad and a first look with muhammad and I will have to say like the hardest first look was definitely with my dad. I didn't even want to do one uh, because we're both so emotional. Like we're probably the big criers in the family. Even thinking about doing a first look with my dad before the wedding, I was already crying. Like I would cry every time I thought about it because I knew he was going to cry. And he just came into the um, room whenever I was finished getting ready and the photographer came up to me when he was like in place and was like, your dad, like when I was explaining to him what to do, he already started crying. So it was very emotional, but I'm so glad we will have that footage forever. So I will say like the getting ready process went very smooth and then the wedding went very smooth as well. It's so funny because a lot of people asked like, what was your favorite part? And if you like, what went wrong nothing went horribly wrong like there was nothing that i was like oh my god this could not be happening on the day of the wedding i couldn't decide if i wanted to take pictures outside like at a park with a lot of greenery because we were getting married in downtown dallas and there's nowhere around there that has a lot of greenery and in my head for the past few years i was like i want to take wedding pictures like outside with greenery like all my inspo pictures were with greenery leading up to the day my planner um secured this beautiful hotel um spot downtown if you've heard of the adolphus hotel in downtown Dallas on the 19th floor they have this room that has really pretty wood floors and white walls and like paneling and windows and it's gorgeous but you can't take pictures there unless you're getting married there but my planner like hooked it up and allowed me to like figure out how I could take pictures there still that week leading up to the wedding I was trying to figure out do I want to take pictures of the Adolphus or do I want to go outside literally last minute i was like let's just go to the adolphus it's two minutes away instead of 15 minutes and forget the outside pictures as soon as we stepped foot in the hotel it started pouring raining outside so if we would have gone to the park we wouldn't have been able to even take pictures so we took pictures there they turned out so good because you could see like the rain um through the windows and it was just like such a pretty vibe for pictures and then as soon as we finished we stepped outside it was done raining like i did not get wet at all going back to the venue it was so crazy someone asked if i was able to eat on my wedding day and honestly i really didn't eat much like i had breakfast 
and I actually had avocado toast and ordered eggs, but they never came. So I just did, I just had avocado toast. For lunch, we ordered Chop Shop, which is like these bowls. And I ate like a little bit of it while I was getting my hair and makeup done. But I was like, I can't finish this because I was just like, there's so much excitement going on and I couldn't think about eating. And then before um, we did our entrance, they like brought food to the room. So I kind of snacked on it. But even during dinner time, I didn't really eat. Some people were asking when I changed dresses because I had two dresses and I actually changed into my second one during dinner time. So I did the entrance in my big ball gown. We did the entrance. We danced for a little bit and then immediately after that we had dinner so i left went up to the room they already had dinner in the room waiting for me and it probably took me like 30 minutes to change my hair because i ended up putting it in a bun and get into my dress um so 30 minutes for that and then probably like 10 minutes getting into my dress and like doing all the buttons and stuff and then muhammad and i went down had like a few pictures and then we went um back into the reception i think my favorite part of the wedding was our entrance because it was just so much fun and something we had been planning for so long. I didn't want like the typical Zephyr, like just walking in and like the megaphone. I wanted it to be like a lot of fun, a lot of like live instruments. And it was crazy because I reached out to um, this guy who put the entertainment group together, I think like probably almost a year ago. And I told him my idea and I told him exactly what I wanted. I sent him like inspiration videos and he was like, yes, we can do this, but they never actually practiced. And so that was something that I was freaking out about because the week of the wedding, they were supposed to practice. He got sick and they never practiced. And so I didn't know what the heck we were gonna do until we walked out and we just basically were winging it. But um, yeah, it turned out, alhamdulillah. And a lot of people ask me like, was I nervous for that? Because we did like a white aisle leading to the dance floor. So I remember Muhammad and I went like the day before on Friday when they were setting up and he's like, well, that's a really long aisle. Like we have to walk down that to the dance floor. But honestly, we weren't nervous. Like it was just so much fun like so much fun and in that moment i was just like we have been waiting for this for so long like these are all our favorite people like i just want all of us to have fun and we had a lot of fun someone asked what did you splurge on so i will say we splurged on the location um of the wedding and that was something very early on like the first thing we booked was the venue and we really struggled with that because there's so many beautiful like estate venues that are huge but their ballrooms are so small we had we invited like 250 and i will say i think like maybe 240 240 or 235 came um and we needed enough space for that many people and so we definitely splurged on the venue and then something we saved on was probably flowers i didn't want to fill like a ton of the guest tables with flowers we didn't do flowers on every guest table i wanted to put majority of the floral budget in the stage area because i knew that we were going to be cutting the cake in front of it doing like all the first dances in front of it and any important pictures would be there and i'm like who looks back on the pictures of the guest tables and the flower arrangements on it like it's very nice but if we're going to save anywhere then i would save there i also definitely splurged on photography and videography because that was something that I'm just like you're gonna plan this whole wedding and then that's what you're left with pictures and videos and they need to be good and I wanted to share all of that with you and it's kind of my job so I just knew like early on that was something I was gonna be splurging on okay sorry my camera died and we're back someone asked if we had vows and we actually did Muhammad and I did our first look at the hotel we did our family pictures right after that after that we kind of like let our family go like they were free after that and Muhammad and I left I think around like 4 15 went to the Adolphus that's where we ended up taking pictures and we read our vows to each other there with the photographer and the videographer he put my wedding band on me because I don't know if I've showed you guys this is a very good um 
close up but it's actually very dirty I need to clean it but obviously like this is my engagement ring and then my wedding band is just the same exact band as my engagement ring and he like put it on me also some girls were asking what time to start getting ready the day of your wedding I was so nervous about figuring out what time to start getting ready because I did not want to feel rushed I would say work backwards like figure out what time the reception is like our reception started at six o'clock and so I'm like okay we're it starts at six so we need to take family pictures and pictures with just me and Muhammad so they probably need an hour of each and then you can like do some buffer time so basically if you have a wedding planner they will help you a lot with this but um I'll put my timeline down below and um we basically I said everyone would be ready by two o'clock and that was early but it gave us enough time like we were honestly it was like a perfect timeline so i'll put mine down below if you guys want to see it did you cry at the end of the wedding i did and not because like you know how people say like you get wedding blues because you like have planned the day for so long and then it goes by so fast and i like love looking back at like all the footage from the wedding and it was so much fun but i'm happy to like move on to a new chapter i i cried because i was so sad to leave my family and i felt like on that day like during the reception you're so busy like doing so many things and talking to so many people that you don't really get a chance to i didn't get a chance to like spend as much time with them and so i was just like at the end i just like cried like with my dad because i'm like i'm so sad like I have to leave you tomorrow and that was the hardest thing like that next day of leaving everyone we went to brunch and i didn't even eat my food no none of us ate we just sat there and cried the whole time i ordered a shawarma sandwich and then i'm just like i don't even i'm not hungry like i'm just crying into my food <laughs> this makes me think that the one thing if i had to do anything different i would say for the reception I would allocate some time to like go around to each table and say hi to everyone because I never really got to do that and anytime someone would see me like saying hi and taking a picture with someone it would like start kind of like a ripple effect which I did not mind at all and I wanted pictures with everyone but I wish I would have been able to like take pictures with everyone and say hi to everyone so I think we should have done that after I changed my dress before we cut the cake. Those are pretty much all of the questions that I thought you guys would be interested in. I'm gonna answer a bunch over on Instagram stories and TikToks. So if you wanna see more, you can head there. But this is really the end of the wedding planning series. So crazy. I think the next video I'll share is like anything I get back from the videographer. Make sure you're subscribed because Muhammad and I still are going on our honeymoon at the end of September. And there's so much house footage I wanna share with you guys. I need to organize the kitchen. I ordered like a ton of organization things for there. So that's all I'm doing next week. And um, I'm picking up my vlog camera and vlogging, I think maybe tomorrow. I think I'll start vlogging. And I'm just trying to get into a new routine because I'm in a whole new city and there's just so much to share with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll get back with you guys. Bye.